at the top 10 uh, quarterbacks, and they are dominated by some young uh, guns coming up here in the league. Got Joe Burrow in there at number five, and Justin Herbert on the way. Tom Brady rounding out what right now looks like sort of the Mount Rushmore of quarterbacks with Rodgers, Mahomes, Allen, and, and then, of course, Tampa Tom. And there is one name that is noticeably absent from this list that we will get to in a second. But before we do that, let's just let Fowler very quickly explain, because he's here today. Again, this story literally just posted, the poll just yep. posted on ESPN.com about 15 minutes ago. Exactly what is it we're looking at? Yeah, here? Greeny, I send hundreds of texts and calls to NFL execs, coaches, scouts, some players. I tell them, give me your 10 best, 1 through 10, at every position throughout the league. We do 11 days. Today's quarterback. I have them ranked, and then I come up with a composite system, a composite ranking, and that's how it fell right there. Again, these are the people whose opinions matter around the league. So now let me point out what you may not have been able to register as you look through this quickly. Lamar Jackson, who very recently was the MVP of the league, is not listed amongst the top 10 quarterbacks. For the record, he's 11th. Dominique Foxworth, just immediate reaction to Lamar Jackson in the eyes of NFL executives and coaches and scouts and players not being a top 10 quarterback as we speak. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think Lamar Jackson is one of a kind. He's the first quarterback I think that we can have in recent memory to play the way that he plays and be as good as he is. So when he has a down year, I think there's a lot of coaches who are ready, coaches and executives and fans, frankly, who are ready to jump off of the ship. And I understand it's Lamar Jackson tax. It's what comes with being as unique a player as he is. So it's the tax he has to play. Any slip up that Lamar Jackson has even though more is asked of him than any other quarterback in the league. And that team was riddled with injuries. And he had injuries himself last year. He also played poorly in certain situations. So I certainly think he's one of the 10 best quarterbacks in the world. But I'm not surprised that he's not in the top 10 on this list. Nico, give me a quick thought on that. He should be in the top 10. And, and I think that we, we live in a world where everything is so, what have you done just recently right now this past season? Last year, obviously with the injuries, if you were to take one of those other quarterbacks, say you, say you took Tom Brady and you took away his whole running back room and you took away a couple of the key pieces on the outside for him, he would have a tough year. He would struggle a little bit. So I think that we're looking at this in a different sense because you're waiting to see, oh, look, he's not so good in this specific situation. Oh, he didn't take him back from, from being down 21 points at half. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's just say he's not a top 10 quarterback. I think personally with the injuries that took place in the running back room and then you look at on the defensive side, the whole team underperformed. So I'm not going to say just after one season that Lamar is in a top 10 quarterback. Right. And it also feels like there's an element of confirmation bias here. A lot of people don't want to believe that style of play works, and so they will take their first opportunity to say, see, it doesn't. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.